name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is Are There Germs on Mars? So Mars has always been the question for terraforming and uh, they, it's kind of considered the twin of Earth. It's about half the size of Earth and it has an atmosphere that we can easily transform and create greenhouse gases so in terms of terraforming it wouldn't be as challenging as Venus or Mercury perhaps. So it's a good candidate. Now, one of, there's been a lot of rover missions and a lot of orbiting uh, spacecraft that have been looking for signs of life or how could we, can we find any you know, signs that would tell us that, yeah, there's life there. Yes, we can support life there. The consensus so far is no. The results do not, do not show any sign of life on Mars. Now, that's not saying that there isn't life on Mars. I mean, there's still a lot of places that we haven't explored. And there's still a lot of techniques that we haven't uh, been able to utilize. So what they're doing now is that they're creating all these missions where they're going to try to find places that can possibly host the life. They're also trying to look at fossils because maybe the life on Mars could have developed before the life on Earth and maybe just didn't evolve into anything bigger. And we can maybe try to find some fossil from ancient probably engine before life started here on Earth. Uh, we're also trying to figure out uh, if there is any possibility to keep the liquid water and if there's anything in the liquid water. Um, we're still early in the search for life, but so far the results are that we do not see a sign of life on Mars. My name is Eileen Pires and I'm an astrophysicist and this is Are There Germs on Mars?